Okay, so I'm working on my motor with the, um, the, the generator alternator pulley. And so what I got was I got this one here, which I was going to use, and I was lining that up. And but then it's like paint started chipping off and I realized that this thing, whatever the black is on there, is just like, it's just, I don't know, not that good of a pulley. So um, I have this one, which is an old stock one, but it's just a little bent. And so I ordered a new one, which looks like this. This is the one from CB and it has a, this is a nice, um, nice chrome finish to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing onto the um, generator, alternator, sorry, and I'm going to uh, try and line that up with the, um, you know, with the fan belt so that I can see how many shims I need. There's shims that can go up here and shims that can go down there. So I start off by taking this little woodruff key. This is a little tiny moon shaped thing. And that goes right in here. This is always kind of tricky to get this to go in there. I'll make one attempt and then I'll pause the camera if I can't get it because sometimes this can take some, some work. So the key goes right into this little hole here. So let's see if I can actually get that in there. Oh, sorry, it goes like this. And it did. I watched it go right in there. Perfect. Okay, so then what it's gonna what's gonna happen is this one with there will be shims and this will go on here. And what it has to do is line up the fan belt. So what I want to do is just see how well that lines up. Well, I have a fan belt here. I don't know if it's the right size, but I should be able to basically take this thing off. Hmm. All right, so looking down here, you know, when I pull this, I think what I can do is probably take off one or two of the lower shims and add one to the top. Let's see how that does. Okay, so under that pulley, I have to actually put this pulley tin. Pulley tin uh, fits around these various things, including the dipstick here on this side. That looks to be okay. Um, this side, though, if you look, definitely needs to be trimmed here so I'm gonna do a little trimming of the uh, of that tin I think it's just not meant to fit on an aluminum case with this casting okay so I've found two places that I first need to take off here the first is right here if you look at this, this nub here needs to get around this little corner so that this thing can sit all the way down flat on it. And that means I'm going to have to cut basically, I have to cut this like this and probably all the way to here and across. straight line. And then on this side, I just need a diagonal cut. It's going to be something like Let's start with something like this. Okay, I will get the Dremel out here. <laughs> Let's cut this off. All right, 
the safety goggles on, I basically have my, uh, my Dremel. So what I'm going to do is cut off here. So it looks better on this side, but I'm gonna to need to take a little more off of there. I'm just gonna take my marker here. And here I just need to take a little bit more off as well. So here, this looks like this just becomes a little bit more of an angle. All right, in the end, I wound up having to grind down some stuff and uh, use a ball peen hammer. So I'll show you what I had to do. So here, I'm not super happy with the gap here, but um, I cut maybe cut off a little too much there. Um, this thing sits on top of there, and I had to cut this all the way to. This seems to be a little different on the on this case. And here, I had to cut just a little bit in order to clear that. Plus there was a little nub in there. Here there was a nub underneath here. And then I had to make this a little bit more diagonal. And then I had to use the ball peen hammer. Some people cut this out, but I used the ball peen hammer to clear this. And the only thing there is, you can see that, whoops, you can see that I have kind of a little bit of a, kind of an ugly spot there, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal because when I put on this pulley, which uh, I should be able to do here pretty soon uh, if I get the sand seal on there, but on the pulley all the way down, you know, that's what it looks like. So, you know, I could hit that with a little bit of black if I really wanted that to clean that up. But overall, overall, I think it looks pretty good. And I think this is aligned well with the, um, let's see, the alignment of the two poles. Hard to see exactly, but I think it's okay. I have two shims on the upper one. You know, if anything, the bottom pulley could maybe use one more shim. Uh, right. Yeah, so interestingly, the normal pulley shims look like this, and they are, there are nine of them. You would normally put a certain amount on the inside and a certain amount on the outside, depending on how much. The pulley shim for this one, if you look at, if you compare them, they have a much bigger hole in them so that they can make it around this square thing here. This is kind of a square thing. So what I'm just gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take about three of these Four of these, and I'm going to put them on the inside. Go ahead and put this on. And then I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to just leave it the three. And I'm going to take the others, put them on the outside. I'm not sure you need them on the outside. On Actually, on this one, I'm not sure you even need them on the outside because you have this big thing here. And then I'm going to still use this billet thing that actually came with this one, but I'm going to use it on here because it looks, looks good. So now, given this setup with the, with the shims, I can look kind of down the line take a belt, I can see if I were to put that belt there and on there, is it straight? When I look at it, it might be, 
might yeah i mean it's i think it's pretty good especially if i made it a little tighter and the belt were to go to the left but it's hard to know also this isn't fully in yet but uh, i think that's pretty good for a mock-up <laughs> 